Osmosis is uh, essentially a process where water molecules will move across a semi-permeable membrane uh, essentially to follow the concentration gradient of the solution. Will flow, will move uh, through a semi-permeable membrane, which of course your uh, cell has a semi-permeable membrane. in the direction of a concentration gradient from high to low. Okay. All right, so uh, what this means is let's uh, think about this in terms of we'll set up a beaker and we will uh, put a semi permeable membrane in the middle. And of course water can flow through the semi permeable membrane but uh, solute particles like ions and uh, molecules won't be able to. So if we pour water into this uh, beaker in which we have a semi permeable membrane if there's no concentration difference, the water will be equal on both sides. Okay. Uh, so here's water. And there in this first scenario, there's no concentration gradient. No concentration difference. Okay, but let's say we throw in some particles. Let's throw in some sodium chloride into the left side of this uh, beaker. Now because the sodium chloride cannot pass this uh, semi-permeable membrane, um, there will set up a concentration difference. So my semi-permeable membrane is still in the beaker. What will happen is that since uh, there will be a higher concentration of sodium ions and chloride ions on the left, um, water will flow from the um, across this concentration gradient from uh, the low side to the higher side to try to alleviate the difference. And so over time what will happen is more water will flow on the left side than on the right side. Or water will flow from the right side to the left side to try to lower the concentration of the sodium chloride to make the concentration gradient lower. Um, now, as you can see, if water is higher on the left side than it is on the right side, there's also a pressure difference. There's higher pressure uh, on this membrane on the left side than there is on the right side. And that's what osmotic pressure uh, measures. Osmotic. So if I ask the question, how much pressure would I need to push on the left side to push the water back so that it would be equal, whatever that pressure is, that's the value of the osmotic pressure that's set up by this concentration uh, difference. And of course, uh, as I've mentioned a few times, uh, your cells, uh, your cell walls, the phospholipid bilayers are semi-permeable membranes, and so the concentration difference uh, inside of the cells and outside of the cells will often uh, cause water to flow through the membranes against the concentration uh, gradient and set up uh, osmotic pressure. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the three types of scenarios that can occur for cells in um, different uh, concentration solutions. Uh, the first one would be isotonic solutions. And so if a cell was in, uh, in a solution where the concentration inside the cell was the same as the concentration outside of the cell, uh, what would happen is that water would flow into and out of the cell at the same rate because the concentrations are equal. This is known as an isotonic solution, and so this would not develop any osmotic pressure inside or outside of the cell. Uh, the other scenario, or the other two scenarios, would be that either the concentration is higher outside of the cell or the concentration is higher inside of the cell. If uh, the concentration of the solute, concentration uh, of the solute in the cell uh, is greater than the concentration of uh, the solutes in the outside, in the solution, uh, water is going to pre preferentially flow into the cell at a higher rate than it would flow outside of the cell. So water is con would come into the cell much more than water would leave the cell. This would cause the cell volume to increase because of the greater uh, volume of water that's in um, that's coming in. If the concentration gradient is big enough, uh, water will actually uh, damage the cell. Uh, when, water, when cells are in a uh, hypotonic solution, that's when, uh, when the concentration of the uh, solute is greater inside the cell than in the solution, the cell could actually uh, burst. And that is a process called hemolysis. Hemolysis, hemolysis. Uh, cells bursting because of the osmotic pressure. And of course, the last scenario where we would have the concentration of the uh, solute is less inside the cell than it is outside the cell in the uh, surrounding solution. And of course, um, in that scenario, uh, water would preferentially leave the cell to go to the higher concentration to try to alleviate the concentration difference at a greater weight rate than it would in, um, uh, go into the cell. And so that would actually cause the cell's volume to decrease. or even shrivels up, and that is called crenation. When a cell shrivels based on the osmotic pressure uh, on the outside of the cell.